Hey everybody, Dorian here, and today we're going to be starting Outlast Whistleblower. For those of you who were watching my original Outlast playthrough, I had some messed up shit happen with my Steam account, and I had to cut it off at that point. Um, I watched the ending, so I know how the game ends now. For those of you who have not seen the end of Outlast and do not want that spoiled, then uh, skip <laughs> this next part because I'm going to talk about it for 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 a minute. Yeah, the, the Outlast ended with him becoming the host of whatever that black thing was, which I think is Billy's consciousness or some demonic form of that, and then he gets shot up. Um, which was a weird twist I didn't expect the game to take, and apparently I had a lot more to play than I actually thought I did, so... What could have been that much more? I was probably like... An hour off. Okay, so is this supposed to be... After I got shot up, I have to see the fingers to know. Let me see the fingers, I wanna... You don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. That makes zero sense. Hit you? Here. Let me help you. What the fuck? This perverted little bitch just licked my ear. Sounds like real trouble. What kill bill fucking shit is this? You're not happy about it? No. Lateral ascension? Shit, shit, shit. Come on. Okay. Okay. What the fuck is happening? Okay, so... I didn't read any of the notes, so I have no fucking idea who Billy is other than he was locked up in that weird-ass chamber. You don't know me. Oh, it's Miles, okay. Have to make this quick, they might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consulting at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems and blah blah blah, sort of NDA, terrible things happening there. I can't read anymore, I'm typing it. I am, I am typing it. To who? Okay, so I work here. Okay. Oh, oh no, I remember this now. Isn't this? Doctors about dream therapy going into deep. Keep finding something that has been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Oh, no one. Don't mind me, it's, it's no one. It's no one. So when I'm doing with Whistleblower, if I don't have any answer, if I still have answers that are, uh, questions that are left unanswered, I think I'm just gonna go through and uh, do a video of kind of explaining it before Outlast 2 comes out. So just to help me kind of figure out where I'm at. Maybe I'll do a reaction to a video like that. Uh-huh. New objective, retort to the main console. I thought you were just a bitch who looks like Guile. Um, didn't this end with them being a bunch of Nazis? Yeah. Okay. So this is before the, cause when you get to this part in the original Outlast, everybody's fucking dead, dude. Like everybody's fucking dead. And uh, there's that fucking ghost wall rider thing. I don't know. Why are you being such a bitch? What is up with all the Nazis? I'm assuming they're Nazis because the last episode ended with them shouting a bunch of shit in German and shooting you up. Uh, okay. Easy there. Easy there. I'm having like wicked deja vu. Okay. Okay. It's weird with people being here. Hi. Hello. Salute. See? Si. Yas. Das. No, I'm just kidding. They're not Nazis. They're wearing an American eagle. They're obviously Americans. So I saw something about sexually explicit reptile? Jerking off. I don't know. 
We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I can call it to the chamber. I don't know what that means, but okay, let me type stuff in my computer. Oh shit, I was actually typing stuff in my computer. Uh, sure. Whatever you say. I see an error code and... I don't know. Uh, I was happy is? before he called me into this fucking room. Still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park, which I yeah. More than I'm to his yeah. Come on. Considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. I am hella loyal. Mm, who's that? You're still three fucking machines. You fucking machines. No, 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 no. They're go okay. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's a rape machine. Granted, that guy did lick my ear and it was weird. Hey, calm yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, agent. I'm calm, bitch. I'm sure he's still calm. That's the one. Finish his work. Yeah, I'm calm. That's the, that motherfucker's the one who ran at me. Quickly, Mr. Park. Ugh, this hurts. I have a cut on my arm because the stupid lady who's drawing blood slashed me when she was pulling it out. It hurts. Oh no, it is Bill. Oh no, that's Eddie Gluskin. Case number 196. Oh god, what's happening? I don't know if that means something good. But, but look at him. Look at him! You're done here, Mr. Park. Thank you and goodbye. I thought they were he was kidding about the rape thing, but they totally like they totally like Cthulhu raped him, like some hentai shit, like I haven't seen someone get that many tentacles in their mouth since never mind. I've never seen that. I've walked into some very very disturbing panels at conventions before. Some very disturbing panels. That you would not believe exist. I've seen things. Terrible things. Um, Alright, let, let's go back. Just gonna mind my own business. Open this fucking door. Somebody's Why do I. Oh, okay, hi. Great. Great. Alright. Consulting contract 82. Yeah. Software engineer with a level three security clearance. Mm -hmm. Who brought the suit in here? From Berkeley, but still <laughs> Come. Smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Hmm. Very true. Now, dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. That is kind of dumb. It is kind of dumb. In fact, that was crazy. Don't do it at work. You committed. No, oh, no. Did you willingly submit to forced confinement? No. Did you hear that? Don't agent? put me back in that place. You said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Oh, and uh, did I just Don't put Mr. me back Blair in that place. Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine program? Well, that's what I Oh, did, god Blair. damn it. God damn it. The Son of a bitch. The onward march of science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Shut up, you bitch. You I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, so this is a prequel to the actual story. Which makes me kind of think that Wayland Park is going to end up being one of the characters you encounter in the actual story. Like, uh... Maybe Martin? Maybe he gets super priesty. No, that wouldn't make sense. He wouldn't be Traeger either. Could he be Sweet Tooth? I will only know when I get to see myself. By the look in that reflection, he just looked like a normal guy. Oh, that is a normal guy. Oh! Oh, the sh Shado's here. 
shadows here. What the fuck is happening, man? Give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. Give me this. Okay. Okay, so this takes place before the fucking first game. What? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So this takes place before the game, but it looks to be like how the game starts. How the whole story begins. Nope, don't look at me. Wait, I don't have to worry. Hey, bitch! Let me out of here! What's up, ho? Are you missing part of your face? It looks like you're missing part of your face. Can I open? Oh, it's just open already. Well then, I think I'm just gonna wait for him to walk by. And then go out that door right there. That door right there. Alright, fuck it. Oh, you ugly. You one ugly bitch. Alright. Well. Okay, I don't know what they're shouting about. But, uh. Who? What the fuck is happening? Oh, they beaten down! They beaten down! Ah! You! No, sir! Come here! Okay, okay. Nope, I'm good. I'm just gonna keep walking. Don't really have any interest in participating. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Let me in! Let me in! No! You. No! Where do I go? I'm dead. Wait, what? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Was he just there to scare me? Oh, that's not cool. They said come in. How do I get in? There's no doorway. Alright, well, obviously... Oh, that's a mess. This is a mess. Thank you for that battery. Thank you very much. Okay. No. Oh. Oh. Well, that explains some things. Oh, hi. Oh. Nope, not really. Yeah, alright. I don't think this is... Oh, is this one of those douche scientists? Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? I'll do it. No, I'll do it. Give me the fucking knife. Now, get the fuck out of here before I change my mind. But. Okay. I mean, I was down to stab him. They locked me up in here. I, 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 I would like to stab them. But no. God forbid I'm allowed to do that stuff. Oh, crap. What the fuck are you trying to go? Down the hall! Oh, fuck! Jesus! 
Y'all are so violent. Just say move. Where the fuck am I? I don't know what's happening. All I know is all of a sudden this bitch is chasing me. You ugly bitch. Okay. 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 Ah. All right, I get it. You don't like me. Where am I? Is there an air vent? When you walk into a room and there's nowhere to go in this game, it's always an air vent. Um, okay, I'm not used to those guys actually attacking. We get out of here through reception and then Merc Tactical will it up. If they get here in time, we need help now. Yeah, now! We don't even know the radio works. Yeah, we don't know! Use a shortwave radio in the prison. What prison? There's a prison here? Fancy. Yes. I'm gonna expose all of you because I'm a whistleblower! Yeah, whistleblower. 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 Well, you know what? I ain't scared of your bitch ass, and I'm gonna do it anyways. Because I know how this ends. It ends with a whole lot of people going a whole. Oh! Hi there! Is this your room? You're welcome to leave now. Enjoy your freedom, friend! Enjoy your freedom, comrade. No thank you. No thank you. Nope. Nope, I have no choice. Okay. There's two ways I could go. I'm gonna guess go towards the shadow. Seems like the most dangerous route. I was. I'm a patient like you. So these clothes from a. Press the button. There you go. Oh. Oh, bad idea. Sirens are going. I'm getting in a fucking locker. How did that get boarded up? No, it didn't. It, it didn't get boarded up. That's just me. It has locks. But it's not locked. Ah, fuck! I know that sound, it's the fucking shadow monster. Well... Really? Way to be an asshole, you couldn't have left the door open for another second to let me get out? God damn! How fucking rude. How... Fucking... Rude. Alright. What's this way? Anything? Some boxes? Some crates? Some crates? Alright, well obviously I can't get out that way. <sighs> Let's see what's over here. Anything? No way out. No way out at all! Alright. Oh, okay. See, I was trying to do that earlier and it wouldn't fucking let me. And now it does? That's some bullshit. Oh, that sounds bad. Oh, that sounds bad. That don't sound good. That don't sound good at all. 
That don't sound good. Don't sound good at all. Sounds like some shit is going down. Yay, yeah, battery! I needed one of these energizers. I needed the energizer. My voice is starting to go raspy. I did a reaction video right before this and now my voice is all hoarse and shit. This is a meat locker. Is someone eating? Sounds like someone's eating. Which isn't something I really want to experience if that is the case. Oh, this door maybe. Hmm. What you doing? Okay, closing that. Hello, how are you? What we got for lunch, anybody know? This battery's already almost dead. This is not going well. Oh! Jesus! Don't look at us. I love him. Okay, okay. Love him however you want. Anyways, let's keep going. Is there a battery anywhere? Cause I'm about out of power. No? Okay, that's great. That's, oh, that's fucking lovely. I'm stuck in here right now. I'm gonna have to find my way out. But that is going to be a task. Oh, nope, never mind. There's the door right here. Last battery? Yep. All right. I think this is a moderately safe place to end for this episode. So let me close this door. And there we go. And I'm gonna be wanting to go through here. So, um, like I said, this is where I'm gonna end this episode. Um, and what I'm gonna start doing at the end of these episodes, and probably the same thing for Outlast 2, is I'm gonna read all the notes at the end of the episode. So, um, I'm gonna do it after my outro and everything like that, so I'm just gonna go through it now. For those of you guys who don't actually want to read the notes or anything like that, so. Um, wow, I'm 14 minutes in of just recording of just this actual footage of with the camera up. Um, anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all in my next video. Later. I fucked up. Oh God, where am I? Hours could have passed or weeks, brain filled with static. They make me watch the, the engine. Have to get help, have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't. Exposes the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I fucked up. Thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Um, what we got here? There's a the radio. In the prison, shortwave. Did fucking uh, Shatner write this? If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journals was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous. I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa for the boys, but I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone, I can't die, not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up for now, or they can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today, murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes as another man tore him to pieces, and then he killed him. Claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. And what am I? I watched this man die, and all I thought, it's not me. Thank God. 
I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, when you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from Murkoff's armies of lawyers and corporate hitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bury it. Burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger, a little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. And then there was just this one. Uh, resignation of Wyatt Grant. Mrs. Grant, you may have received requests for information from a Miss Lisa Park, or Wyatt Park, sorry, of Leadville, Colorado. In the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Wayland, Wayland, if so, please forward them to my personal attention. Wayland Park, former consulting contract 8208, resigned to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them. With the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Miss Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctors, diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be canceled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant healthcare debts. Hopefully she understood. But if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is the only one I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair, CEO and douchebag. All right, well, bye. <laughs>